What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is sponsored by Wondershare Filmora. So to give you a quick rundown of Wondershare Filmora, it's an easy to use video editing software with powerful functions and everyone can start with Filmora easily and quickly, even with zero editing skills. A few awesome features are speed ramping, green screen, and even auto beat sync. So to give you guys a quick idea of how Filmora looks, this is our timeline right here. We have everything from transitions, effects, split screens, titles, audio, right above here. I'm actually working on a timeline right now. And truthfully, I wish I knew about Filmora when I first started because this is probably one of the most easiest, plus it's really affordable. And on top of that, the quality of everything. So Filmora can be used on Windows and Mac. And then there's Filmora Go, which can be used on Android and iOS. Both have awesome features. Filmora Go specifically has timeline editing, video effects, and even audio effects. Now that I'm done with my project here, I wanna give you guys a little sneak peek of how it came out. Yo, yeah, watch this. <laughs> wow, we need more food. So if you wanna start editing your own videos and making awesome content just like me, make sure you hit the link in my description down below. Thank you Wondershare Filmora for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. All right, we're here at aquarium shop. We're gonna head in and see what Andy's got. Hopefully he's got some nice looking starfish. Look at this tank. Right when you walk in, Andy's got his main aquarium back up and running. It's looking good. So we got three starfish right here in this aquarium. Where are they, Ty? I see one. Uh, one's there, one's down low straight. Down. Oh yeah, right in back in that corner. And then there's one right here. He's under here, you can't really see him. There he is right there. Yep. Look at this. Bro, this is a baby Batman. So you know the bat fish in the pond? That's him as a baby. He's cool. That's so sick. It's literally the size of my finger. Wow. And you can see they completely change colors as they get bigger, like to a silver. Look at this. Ty's got a cleaner shrimp cleaning his finger right now. What's going on here, man? But that's exactly what they'll do to the fish. It's crazy how they know. Thing's literally cleaning his finger now. All right, we're gonna be bagging our starfish. Probably go with a bag about that size. I got him. Oh, yeah. One starfish down. Second one. Right here. Third one is right here. Look at all the cleaners. Now these are chocolate chip starfish. They actually look like chocolate chips. You can see, kind of here. Here, look from above here. See, yeah. See those little like black dots, looks like little chocolate chips, so that's where they get the name, but it'll be cool in the pond. We'll see how these guys do. And he taught me this back in the day. Alrighty, got our starfish, got our fish food. See you guys back in the pond. We're back at the saltwater pond. We're gonna acclimate these starfish. Now I usually do a drip line, but I don't have one, so we're just gonna do uh, about two cups every 10 minutes, and we'll do that for about 30 minutes, and it'll be good to go. I got some food right here. While those guys are acclimating, we're gonna get these guys all full. Pretty flared up right now. Holy cow. Look, watch that thing. Look how quick he is. He's All right, got him. Let's see. <laughs> Trigger. Oh my gosh, that, that thing just impresses me every time. Every single eat. It's so crazy. Oh, trigger. Oh, Batman. This thing is going crazy. Holy cow. Holy cow. Everything is going nuts right now. Oh my, where's Bumblebee? There he is. That thing is a whale, bro. Absolute whale. Hulk's munching away. <laughs> oh. 
That one is really aggressive. Our blue dot stingray, not as aggressive as her, but again, we've had her for almost pushing two and a half years now. So she's just got used to us. The same thing will happen with the blue dot as we continue feeding her and she just keeps getting used to us. Watch, they're gonna spit water at me. They're doing it. You want some food? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. All right, all right, all right. Here you go, buddy. Munching. There's our panther grouper just darted out. Everything in here is doing awesome. Bamboo shark. Where is he? Oh, there he is. His tail is right back up in here. I don't know how well you can see, but that's his tail. By the way, our red tail catfish have gotten huge. They're soon gonna go in the pond. So cool, one of my favorite freshwater fish out there. They're just like little puppies. Watch this. <laughs> oh! Gosh, bud, that's my finger. <laughs> Let's feed the pond real quick while our starfish are almost done acclimating. We did put our koi fish in here about two weeks ago. I've seen a couple of them, but I haven't seen them eating. I've just seen them free swimming. And we have our awesome, oh, here he is. This guy is so smart, it's insane. He just munches. And everyone said, oh, you're never gonna see him again. Buddy, he's eating at my big toe right now. This guy's smart. Yeah. You can tell he was important. Yeah. Starfish are ready to go. Now, before we add them into the pond, there's two reasons we only got three of them. One reason is Andy only had three of them. Second reason is we want to see how these guys do before we add any more. We haven't yet added any starfish to this pond, so we're just going to test it with these guys. If they do good, we'll obviously get a bunch more. So now it's not going to be anything too exciting because they're probably just going to fall to the bottom. Look at Hulk trying to. Well, they'll check it out, but then they'll just do their thing. Dude, I want one to go on the side of the glass there. That would be sick. There it goes right down the bottom. Last one. Here we go. Right in front of the panel here. And boom. We got all three of our starfish in. One's right there, one's right there, and our last one is right there. We're gonna give it a few hours, see where these guys end up. That wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. We'll be giving you updates on these starfish throughout their whole process. If they seem to do well, we'll get some more. But with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See y'all!